Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Recently, Farmingdale State College held a job fair. And with over 100 companies in attendance, this is by far their biggest one yet. A typical um, spring job fair has about 50 companies. We are pretty convinced that the job market has improved because of the interest from so many different companies. That's a really good thing, you know, as far as job seekers are concerned. You know, as the job market is improving, um, you know, looking for hires gets a lot more competitive. Um, so, you know, some of the things that we do are promote some of the benefits that we offer, medical, dental, life insurance, tuition reimbursement, uh, 403B retirement plan, uh, local discounts at area attractions. So, you know, the little things that can make the difference between one person deciding on which employer to go to, those are the things that we try to promote. Talon Air is a chartered private jet 135 operator out of Republic Airport. Our fleet is um, pretty much 30 airplanes from light jets to heavy jets. Um, and we're pretty much fly all over the world, um, but based here out of Republic. We're hiring for all levels, from entry level all the way up to management positions. Uh, we're looking for people on our line uh, to deal with towing in the aircrafts and cleaning them and preparing them to get ready for trips. Um, dispatchers, administrative positions, and really anything in between. We get students that are flight instructors, also students that you know want to start an entry-level position flying with us. Mm -hmm. So we put them in a smaller aircraft and start them off that way. And hopefully, if all works well, they stay with us to flying you know, mid to heavy jets with us. With Curtis Wright, our manufacturing and engineering company right down the road. And today we're here to promote manufacturing on Long Island, talk about some engineering opportunities, some manufacturing opportunities, as well as some positions we have in administrative roles in our contracts and defense work. Uh, we're a big supporter of Farmingdale College. Uh, there's a lot of talent right here that we pull from and looking forward to hiring some Farmingdale students. I'm here on behalf of the New York City Department of Correction Recruitment Unit. Right now we have a big campaign. We're trying to hire about 1,800 officers within, by the end of this year. We're the second largest law enforcement entity in New York. If you have 39 credits, come on board. Although there are multiple job websites, many employers still prefer the personal interaction offered at a job fair. Uh, having a little face-to-face -face contact is great. You get to actually exchange information. You get to ask some questions. You, they, uh, you also get a feel for you to see if we're a right fit for them. And uh, it's, it's, it's a good screening process. It really is a good way to, to, uh, to see how they would fit into the company as opposed to just reading a piece of paper or going online and taking a look at a resume. They will at some point come into the office, but I feel like getting to connect with them initially at a job fair and then having them come in, it's like, oh, okay, I, know, I actually met you before. Okay, you have that connection. Job hunting is frustrating to some. As a student, when you're trying to find a job, you're looking for something that's more, uh, that will help you towards a career. And in them, when you're applying online or apply everywhere, you see they ask you for 15 years experience. Even internship, they'll be asking you for a previous internship. Like, how are you supposed to get something? You know what I mean? It's so hard. Others are more optimistic. Well, yes, uh, be positive. Uh, you have to have confidence in yourself and don't put any type of barriers for you. Just go for it and be yourself and you'll find something, I'm really sure. The key to getting the interview is to always be prepared. Make sure you have a resume, you know, update it, make sure you update a LinkedIn account, you know, because everyone's looking at it. Make sure you also, when you come to a job fair, make sure you're professional, professional attire, male and female. And afterwards, follow up with a traditional thank you note.